I don't think I've ever done this in all the years that we've done baby dedications right at transition but I feel such an anointing that I feel like that uh, Dawson and Zoe are you here come on up here bring your bring your little one Faye up here I feel like God wants something at this this time with this child that is very important for their destiny and what God has for thank you Lord what a cutie oh sleeping wow all right when can we babysit I'm serious I'm not just making that up oh man God you're wrecking me here <laughs> all right well obviously you know that dedicating a child is a very serious thing you can go ahead and be seated in the audience but they can stay standing here that would be great dedicating a child is very serious obviously in scripture you don't really read of any situations or accounts of baby baptisms that was something when a person made a decision to be converted to change they would go down in the water that would be the old life and then they'd come up like Jesus 30 years of age in the newness of life but children were dedicated and it was at that moment that they would come and they would present just like you are their child before Almighty God but before the people and they would stand before God and they would stand before the people and it was a sign that the parents understood that all life is precious especially the life of the child that God gave you and you're just giving back to the father what he gave you but you're publicly witnessing and declaring God before you and before the people we will raise our child in the fear and the admonition of you the almighty God you promise before the Lord to do that I know you will praise God at this time I'd like for the pastors to come I want to put my hands while I feel this strong anointing there is a very strong strong sound of worship that I hear coming from this child I don't know if it if there's going to be I don't know if either one of you have singers in your family which is really unique because I'm telling you there's something of the voice of this child to sing there's tremendous creativity in this child that is going to be reflected different than the creativity that you have and the creativity that you have the creativity is going to be more towards the things of the kingdom and you're going to see a real draw at a very early age that this one will have of wisdom and of, and of knowledge that people will say is beyond their years. It's because of the grace and the gifting that is upon this child. In fact, I hear the Lord say it's a harp and it's a bowl is a gifting that's been placed. The harp is a call of worship a sound of worship a draw to worship in fact you're going to see at a, a particular age they're going to want to almost like mimic playing something with their fingers don't think because there's not musical talent that oh well, that's just them going through a stage it's the spirit of god drawing the child to the place of worship the harp to draw it out of them Okay? And I'd even put a little keyboard in front. Watch what they do. You're going to be shocked. They're going to grow into it. And then the other thing is the bowl is intercession. There is a sensitivity. That's why the Spirit of God wanted me to do this at this time. Because there's an impartation coming to this child that has to do with a prophetic grace. That's why the music is there. But it's also intercession. But to prophesy. To speak the word of the Lord. And they're going to be known in the area of poetic expression, but also specifically that has to do with prophesying the word of the Lord. 
And so, Lord, we stand before you. Pastors, come on around. We lay our hands upon this precious one. And we release that anointing, the harp and the bowl, the worship, the praise, and the intercession and the mouthpiece for God. We call those talents forth. We dedicate this child into your hands and we say no evil, no harm can never come near their dwelling or this family. We speak health and wholeness, not only over their parents, but over this little one. We dedicate her into your hands for your honor, for your glory. And may her giftings and callings and the things that have been written about this child manifest. And it'll never be aborted or delayed or hindered. But we call it forth in the earth in Yeshua's name. Amen. Man, I feel a really strong anointing. Thank you, Lord. All right. Well, you know what? If God stops and does this for one child, you know what? It's okay. That's what we have to learn to do. He's in charge. Amen. Let's go ahead and stand up for just a moment. Let's give honor to God and to that beautiful couple and their child. And uh, we thank the Lord for that. All right.